Hi, it's Crazy Tales from the Southwest Backpacker, and today I am going to open up a package that I've been waiting all week to open up. It's been very hard not to open this. This is from my good friend Santiago. He uh, mailed me this package about a week ago, and um, today I'm going to open it up and show you guys what we've got inside here. So let's open it up, see what we got. Packaged very well. There again, I've been waiting all week to uh, see what's inside here. Oh, very nice. Okay, so what we've got here is a small container, of, uh, well, large container of char cloth. And it uh, looks like it's got some tape around the outside of it. You never know when uh, you could use this tape. It comes good in for just about anything, I think. It's very nice. We've got uh, char cloth there on the inside. We've also got some char rope, which uh, works very, very well. I've also charred uh, rope before and find that it works very, very well. Let's see what else we've got here. We've also got the um, fire piston itself. As you can see here, and there's a a note in here. Uh, anyway, this is what the uh, fire piston looks like. Very, very well crafted fire piston. This is uh, handcrafted by Santiago. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's, let's see what we got here. On the top here, it looks like we've, we've got uh, an O-ring, spare O-ring, and uh, it's really hard to see here. There's a indentation where you can take your fingernail, thumbnail, and uh, kind of pull out on this here. Let's see if I can get that there to come out. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very nice. You can see here, inside we've got some, uh, oh, we've got a pick. Tiny little pick to um, be able to pull the char cloth out of the uh, little indention here on the front. Looks like you can also pull out the char cloth that uh, comes inside of the tube here. Just incredible. Santiago, this is uh, very, very nice. I uh, am speechless at the moment. I, I don't know what to say. This is a very nice fire piston that you put together here. Very well handcrafted. I like the uh, wooden knob there on the end. Just gorgeous. So, I... Uh, I'm very anxious to get get this going and try this out so what I want to do is gather some tinder here around the area and see about getting this guy going so let me gather up some tinder and let's make a fire with this fire piston so the tinder that I'm going to use today is some of the dry grass here that you see on the ground this is um, just some native grass that grows out in the desert. As you can see, there's some uh, brown stuff here on the top. I believe that's uh, grama grass, blue grama grass. And uh, it's brown. What I usually go for, though, is this gray stuff here at the bottom, this dead, uh, dead gray material. Just get in here and kind of pick away at it. Makes for great, great tinder for fire starter. I think this is going to work well for the fire piston. So I'm going to gather some of this up and get that puppy fired up. Okay, so this here is my um, tenderness that I grabbed. Gathered up a bunch of um, dry grasses. Got that gray stuff. It's got a little mixture of brown in there, but that's uh, what I'm going to use for the tenderness. I think it'll work just fine. I'll go ahead and Lay that there. I want to show you guys um, up close what's what this fire piston looks like. It is just a beautiful, beautiful handcrafted piece of work here. So, as you can see, this is um, there's the little groove I was telling you about right in there. It's it's really hard to tell. 
you can kind of kind of see it in there but you can take your nail and just kind of slide it out and um, this is your cylinder this is your piston and as you can see, see here on the inside it's got that pick that we'll use to um, pick out the ember out of this little um, ember right here once we get our compression also wanted to show you guys um, real quickly the uh, spare o-ring and the wooden plunger on the end there very very awesome it also has, has one more spare o-ring here on the bottom I didn't see so there's no way that um, these o-rings will wear out on you they last a long long time so let's put this guy to the test and see if we can get a fire going shall we bring this down here to our fire pit I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pick have that ready to go so what I'm going to do here is position the fire piston the way it's supposed to go, which is the uh, O-ring first. Before I do, I have some uh, Carmex that I'm going to use as lube. And uh, this, will, um, this will work just fine as far as lip care. I put just a little bit around the o-ring here not too much that's about all you're gonna need right there let me uh, bring this closer so you guys can see it okay and I'll just take my finger and kind of make sure it covers it all the way around the edge there okay next I'm going to take some of this jar cloth Pack it into the top. Get this open here. There we go. I think um, I'll try a little bit of this rope just because it's uh, it's handy right there, and I could probably just cut it using the lid. There we go. We'll try. We'll try a little piece like that. Just. Stuff that guy into the little compartment there on the front, and um, should be good to go. I may have packed just a little bit too much in there, but I think that's going to work. We'll give give it a try. I'm also going to take and um, put a little bit of this char cloth into our tenderness as this will help to um, blow that into flame okay let's see if we can get this guy fired up Santiago I'm really excited about this let's see if um, I can get this guy here on first try Be really cool if I could okay so all you really need to do is um, push that up and down a couple times just to get it lubed and then um, what you're going to want to do is place piston into the cylinder so that the o-ring slides just into the top of it just like that and what I'm going to do is put this up against the rock here give it a real good compression and see what we get and it's lit first time Santiago and I got it going incredible char cloth there. So I'm going to take the pick, place it onto our tenderness. I'm sure you can see it's already smoking. Now I don't want to just drop this into the dirt. I want to gently put this all back together here so it doesn't get dirty. And I'll just uh, set this aside. <clears throat> so I'm going to take, take my tenderness here and fold it in half and start blowing on it and see if we can get this to blow into flames. And we got flame. I'm going to take some of these 
dry juniper branches I've got here. Just lay that on the top because it works very good for kindling. Also have some pinyon branches here I'm going to use as some kindling. First try, Santiago. Proof right here that uh, your fire piston works very, very well. It has very good compression. And um, got it got it fired up on the first time. I did not have to use very much um, effort into pressing that. And there you have it. Campfire. Made with the fire piston. Santiago, I very much appreciate this. Muchas gracias para este fire piston. Yo mucho lo aprecio. Es un gran amigo a mí. This is Crazy Tales from the Southwest Backpacker. Reminding you to get outside, life is good there.